Hey guys, it's Delicracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 3, Episode 1. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're actually up to Season 3 of Let's Play Barbie. This has been the most fun Let's Play, so laid back, so colourful, so whimsical and uh, I just wanted to quickly say thank you guys for watching because I absolutely adore recording this for you and I'm very, very excited to be on to Season 3. A lot of you guys have been giving some really good feedback. Um, you've been saying, a lot of you actually have been saying to please get Barbie's sisters into the Let's Play. And I believe there is a Simley who's actually made the sisters. So um, I've definitely got that on my list as something to do in this series. Uh, we're going to be you know, re-exploring Jem, uh, bringing him back into the Barbie, original Barbie household because he's just broken up with Honey. Um, and we just want to see where his love life is going to take him now. But it's been very interesting hearing about uh, what you guys think of him. That's for sure. Ruby is going to have an interesting teenagedom. And also we have Onyx and Pearl who need to age up, who I, I adore them. I adore them. So um, that's going to be fun as well as all the rest of the gang. Anyways, so we are back at the Barbie dream house that we've been in for quite some time. And I have given the Barbie fam a good makeover. Gems moved back in. They're all looking slightly different. You know, they've got some different outfits going on. I love this dress on Pearl. Is that not the perfect dress ever? <laughs> and Onyx wears more plain clothes. Um, he's not as you know, out there as a lot of the other characters, but he just dresses nicely. So I think that's fine. Ruby girl is looking very glamorous these days in her LBD. She's got this beautiful cascading red hair, uh, which is very beautiful. And you can watch this makeover. I've called it the Barbie mega makeover. And uh, check out this play suit on Barbie. Look at her strutting. She looks so happy. Like I swear she is just so smug. She's like, oh yeah. Actually, she kind of looks a little bit unsure. Is she not into that outfit? Maybe we should change it. Let's change your outfit into this one. Does she like this one a bit more? Oh yeah. <laughs> She's like, yes, this is what I'm talking about. That one's a little bit more demure. That's for that's for sure. Anyways, let's get these guys to move. Now we've packed up a few of the things. We've definitely got Margie here. Uh, another idea is actually to, oh, look at the moon reflection in the pool. I've never seen that. That is amazing. Wow. Uh, we also have the opportunity to maybe add Margie uh, to the household. The only thing I'm going to miss about this house is the garden, I think. I mean, I love this house, but that's what I'm going to miss most. So is there any extra bits and bobs? Well, Topaz isn't living here anymore. We've got the pictures from the wall. Um, all of those pictures have been taken. Yeah, I think I think we're doing okay. I mean, we could take this painting uh, because that's, that's an old goodie. That's an oldie in a goodie. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. I think we are ready to move into the new Barbie dream penthouse. So there's also a speed build of that too. So there's lots of Barbie content at the moment. Let's get Barbie to move the household. Yay, she looks excited. I'm so excited. Like I'm legitimately excited. I'm gonna miss this house. Oh my gosh, this is such a big deal. <laughs> I'm so lame, but I'm so attached to this. Let's play, it's weird. Anyways, we're moving to San Myshuno. That's right, the Barbie clan are now going to be City Slickers. Um, oh, oh, we don't have enough money. What? Oh, well, well Margie's, uh, Margie's funds, uh, Oops, free, re oops, free, oh God. Free, oh. <laughs> free real estate on, there we go. Um, Margie's, you know, her estate that she left behind, they, they, they get a nice little, uh, little lump sum of that. So I did make sure that this lot trait, or oh, this lot has the traits, um, on league line, full of funky, fertile earth energy. Twins are born here more often than not. So, oh my gosh, if she had twins at last, 
I would die. We can also get a butler here, so we will be getting a butler, of course. It's got a sunny aspect. The beautiful scenery really makes this place uplifting. When the sun goes down, Sims may get energized, happy, or inspired. Love it. Party place. Parties just seem to go well at this place. Meeting social event goals becomes much easier because we're obviously going to have a housewarming and have a little bit of fun. But yeah, this apartment I built three times before I was happy with it the fourth time I built it. <laughs> so I was pretty obsessive with trying to make this look a certain way. And someone said on the comments on The Sims 4 gallery that it's the perfect mix between sophisticated and whimsical. It's extremely colorful, but I wanted it to look a lot like a, like a dollhouse. I wanted to bring back that kitsch aspect to it. Uh, so yeah, this is it, you guys. We're in Samaishuno. Oh my gosh. And we are in the fashion district. And this is the new house. Uh, it's even got like a bright pink basketball court in there. It's got these cool canopies and stuff. I do miss the garden a little bit. So I don't know, maybe we'll make like a community garden to visit sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's pretty like OTT. So I'll give you guys the tour. Oh my gosh, Barbie going into the new house for the first time. <gasps> I'm dying. I love it. Okay, so uh, basically, oh, this is so exciting. So basically, this is the entrance room. I guess we'll go into camera mode to show you around. Oh, Onyx seems happy here. He's probably more of a city kid, I reckon. Um, <laughs> gem testing out the uh the entrance area but yeah this is um basically the entrance and then if you go straight to the right this is the kardashian inspired actually um dining area that goes out to the balcony and kitchen so we've got these crazy bright chairs we've got a bar over there with a full mirrored wall and then we can go into the kitchen over here which is nice and spacious it's got a nice black matte sink which i've been doing a lot of house inspections lately and i've noticed that is such a thing here in melbourne so definitely inspired by that <gasps> what are you gonna do oh he's gonna use the new staircase up there Okay, we'll go there soon. Oh, this makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm so proud of my Barbie family. Moving into their house. I am so emotionally attached to this game. This is a gym. Um, so we went with some reds in here. Just thought it was good to stay fit. But if any of the kids need to move back home, uh, they can do so. And there's plenty of room. This is the pool. We've got lots of lights. It looks out onto the city. We've got a fun slidey thing. Oop, that's a bit of wallpaper there that I missed, I think. And then let's keep on trucking along. Um, we can go down the corridor. That's where some bedrooms are going to be. But I'll quickly show you guys the formal lounge room. So this is a very strict palette of yellows and whites and this is a base game chandelier that they've added another swatch to so make sure you keep updated with your base game items because they've been giving a lot of new swatches uh there's also a little area terrace there where there's like oh my god she looks so fabulous where there's um an option option to sit down you know if we strut down the hallway and follow barbie uh we have another spare bedroom right here uh, so this is going to be the butler's room when we order a butler. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really have any particular character. Um, it's just like yellow and gold. And I really like this little crazy area. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? <laughs> and then down here we have Bobby's office. Again, this could be made into an extra bedroom. You could have eight bedrooms easily in this house. There's basically room for eight bedrooms. Um, but to come over to the first of the kids' rooms, this is Pearl's room. So very clean, very nice and pretty. Um, peachy colors, light colors. Everything's just nice and neat and perfect. And I did mention Pearl. Um, she's like very, very hygienic. Like she, I mentioned that she might, be a bit OCD but I've decided to take back that comment because I don't think she suffers from OCD I think she's just unusually very very clean so I have revised her character all right where else are we going do we have anything else down here we've got the butler's room 
Uh, over here is just like a little sitting area. Okay. Now there's several ways to go upstairs. We've got a staircase here, we've got a staircase over there, and we've got a staircase over here. So there's the floor plan if we go up a level. Uh, if we go into this area, this is going to be the main family living area. So Onyx is enjoying the pink atmosphere right there. Uh, very pink, very glamorous. Uh, if we go through here, this is going to be Ruby's extremely grand room. And I feel like <laughs> Pearl is actually trying to, trying to, to snake it. Um, so yeah, very grand, very grand. She also, of course, has her own terrace area to invite all her friends to because she's such a spoiled little princess. Um, I do like the details outside of the window. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be like, Mom and Pearl, why are you eating in my brand new bedroom? Do you not realize that that carpet is Ralph Lauren? <laughs> This is Onyx's room. Uh, Ken's already getting down onto his gaming computer. Someone commented I gave him the wrong computer or something. I didn't really understand what that comment meant. But anyway, it's very um, black and dark. Uh, that's, I mean, Onyx is the type of person to like the curtains closed and just be really snug in his own little room, crank the heater on. And he loves films, so he's got a lot of film posters out there. Gosh, look at that metallic wallpaper. <gasps> he also has a guitar, interestingly. So that's the out area. So we've got Onyx's room. We've got Ruby's room. Uh, okay, so if we go out here... Yeah, that just goes around to the next area. So if you want to go uh, to access this room, which is actually going to be Jem's room, uh, that's via this staircase over here. There's a lot of staircases and things. Uh, this is just an outside rooftop area where there's a barbecue. So that's a nice, you know, public area. This is the basketball court and I think gem suits being close to that that's why i put his bedroom here but his bedroom's very uh it's actually quite a grand bedroom a very minimal palette it's got a cool graffiti painting on the wall wardrobe why did i not go a size bigger on that wall mirror when i could have i have no idea we're definitely gonna have to change that because that is wrong <laughs> he's also got an ensuite um and then if we go up one more level <laughs> we get to the Barbie and Ken beautiful uh, master bedroom suite. So I'm just going to view this from above. So the staircases come up from that formal bedroom down there. We have a peachy pink bathroom over here. And this is so Barbie. I mean, look at these picture frames. The picture frames even look like Barbie. Um, but yeah. This is just very, very pretty. We've got the new beautiful vanity there um, that everyone's going to use, I think. Uh, and then, yeah, this very grand pink bed. And check out the view. Does someone want to have a bath with me? Because, damn, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, I've got some dance floors over there. We've got a little jacuzzi hot tub and a nice little area here. Of course, there's room to expand this a little bit more as well if we needed another bedroom or something. Anyways, let's get everyone to claim their beds quickly uh, because, you know, that's what we want to do. Uh, let's go up here. We'll get Barbie to claim this. And I don't think we can double claim it. I don't know. I've never really understood how that works when they're a couple. Uh, this is going to be Jem's room. And this is going to be Onyx's room. Claim. And then, of course, we're going to get Little Pearl to claim her bed over here. Is that everyone? I think I got everyone. Oh, well, they'll figure it out. And now let's get a butler. Woohoo! Okay. Can Pearl actually get the butler? I feel like she, oh, she should be, like, best friends with her butler. Aw, look at this, you guys. You're so uh -huh. cute. <laughs> You're so cute. I love it. Um, I mean, for the first time ever, Ruby actually looks pretty happy in this house. She She's excited to be a city girl. She's going to go clubbing and stuff. It's going to be awesome. Anyways, let, I don't think she can actually... Oh, maybe she can hire a service. That's pretty good. She'd really... Oh, no, she can't. She'd really be embracing uh, the new cultural parts of the city as well, I think. 
Okay, Barbie, let's get you to call up services, hire a service, a butler. I wonder what kind of butler we're going to get. You get a different butler every time. We might get a klepto butler, like a kleptomaniac. Oh my gosh, butler. Yes, please. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Oh, look at Jem. They all look so chuffed with their new house. His basketball top. Boy's been playing some basketball. He's got such a macho, macho walk. The Windenberg Butlering Academy has an excellent candidate to join your residence as a live-in butler. They will report for work within the day. Upon your butler's arrival, please assign them a bed to sleep in. Should you be providing private quarters for your butler, you may set door locks for their section of the home. <gasps> so good. Oh, he's like, Bobby. Congratulations on the new house. I think we'll all be very happy here. I think we have, <gasps> oh, look at him. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's perfect. Enzo Machado. Oh, we have to welcome him. Cheerful introduction. Like we want to get to know him. We're going to be really nice to our butler. I think he should definitely wear white though. I just feel like, um, he would suit that a lot more. Bob so let's Ronnie's just do a little sneaky uh, testing cheats, Bobby true cheat. The and then we're going to go quest. cast full edit mode uh, just in case we need that as well. And we might actually, oh, should we change his hair? Nah, I don't think we'll change his hair. Can we, oh wait, I don't think we can change the actual butler outfit as such but we can set it for his other outfits in case he does change at some point in time uh yeah i think that's probably the best thing we can do oh that's a shame because i really wanted him to wear the white the white butler outfit i might ask yeah i'll probably send a message to one of the sim gurus and ask if there is a way to actually uh change the butler outfit to white permanently because I want him to wear this all the time. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay. Oh, we... ah, I don't know. I think when he has formal wear, he should be wearing his butler outfit as well. I mean, we could let him wear a different color for formal. Nah, he just always wears the white. <laughs> he even works out in his butler outfit. He must, if you opened up his wardrobe, he would have like 50 of these butler outfits. Okay, I feel like we should be nice and we should give him something else to sleep in. I mean, I don't mind the idea of him wearing a robe because he looks like he's kind of ready to keep working, but not fully. Mm. Oh, maybe we'll just give him some plaid or flanny PJs something these these gray ones are nice aren't they there we go okay so he can ha have some nice ah uh, it's very nice pajamas and then we'll give him this for his party wear and oh my gosh for this he should have something fabulous like some little thingamabobs so he's a master mixologist. He's lazy, unflirty, and creative. Great. So we got a lazy butler. Let's just do a little sneaky oh. change right now. I think we should. <laughs> I love that we're changing our butler. Make him a perfectionist. I, don't, I want him to be nice. I think he should be a good butler. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I, I don't want to change him too much, but we're changing him fully. He should totally be neat, a perfectionist. Ooh. And I think he's a bit of a snob. Did we want to change his hair? Because I feel like Barbie would rather him have shorter hair to avoid it getting in any food or anything like that. Uh, so we might go for just a shorter cut. We could actually go for what came with the new stuff pack. I think it's the same as Ken's hair though. Ooh, ooh, got a little bit of a slicked back hair there. <laughs> uh, you could be cool, but love. I think this one's quite good. It's quite over the top. 
I'm like, what? This little thing I'm not that keen on that I feel like we can't change that because otherwise we'll be changing him just too much. We'll give him that hair. And can we make him a little plumper? I, I would like him to be just a little bit more, you know. He's got to have a little pot belly. How does that look? Hmm. Mm, his posture's not very good either. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's just... Oh, he's got a bad posture. Hmm. There we go. That'll do, that'll do. So, oh no, we didn't change his hair. Damn. Which one was it? Which one do we pick again? Not that one. It was like the, uh, I think it was a bit, a bit further down. Ah, oh, I can't remember where the hair we picked is. Which one was it? This one. Okay, so it's from Dine Out. So if we just filter this, that's gonna be way quicker. Bam, bam, bam. All right, happy, happy, happy. I love his outfit. <laughs> so we've got our new butler, Izzy for Bush. I love him. We've got the new house. We've just got to assign him a bed and we're all moved in and ready to start season three of Let's Play Barbie. Yay, 177. Oh, he is too perfect. Oh, and he didn't change into the white. I didn't think he would, but hey, at least we tried. At least we tried. So I'm going to assign the bed to the butler. There you go, Enzo. Enjoy. Enzo is Italian, is it? I think. Uh, but yeah, I think Pearl's going to be good friends with Enzo. I think uh, we'll get... Um, Ken to do a friendly introduction, and I think Bobby's gonna tr Oh, he didn't like that. Uh, we're gonna get Bobby to butler, management, oh no, no, not fire. Stop cleaning, stop gardening. Uh, let's just get him, let's just praise him. Be like, thank you for joining the family. Welcome. We hope you enjoy your stay in the house. Let us know if there's anything we can do to make your room more comfortable. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to be very nice to him. Why can't we like get a drink made or something? Or stomp something. Stomping. Enzo seems pleased with Barbie's evaluation and views to continue working hard. Enzo will be even faster at performing his responsibilities for a period of time. Yay! Anyway, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here and I'll have a new part out pretty soon. Uh, but anyways, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye!